Hey, it's Cars 108. I'm Pat. That's AJ. It's 818. It's going to be mostly cloudy. Today, scattered showers. Highs near 79. You know, I was just yesterday, we were hanging out at um, at a Genesis Athletic Club for uh, Stuff the Bus all day. And we're there stuffing the bus for the Salvation Army. And I'm talking to Brianna. Brianna, who's the marketing director for uh, Genesis. And we were talking about, like, because I'm not a native Michigander. Different places that I've been and fallen in love with and not been. And they're all very mad that I haven't been to Big John's yet. Very angry. We'll get on that. I know. Uh, but then but then I told them, I said, but I've fallen in love with Starlight. And Brianna looks at me and goes, yeah, I've, I've never been. Oh, my gosh. What? We have friends um, that come up from Chicago that literally look forward to coming to Starlight. Come, when they come on up now. Uh, we are here right now to give you an extra great reason to come on through the Starlight, uh, you know, cafe tonight. The diner, the fame diner right there. So good. Like I ever need a reason. I know. Get those Sidewinder fries with cheese, by the way. Uh, They're onion rings. Oh, those onion here. rings, though. Uh, let's go ahead now and welcome on in uh, Christina and uh, Gil. Now, you guys are part of a great event that is happening this evening. Uh, at Starlight or, or more like this afternoon. Uh, so go ahead and uh, tell us what this is all about and who it's going to benefit for. Tonight is a night of profit at Starlight Coney Island, and they are benefiting REACH. The REACH program is a homeless at-risk youth shelter, okay. and it's right here in Genesee County. Most people know REACH. It's been around for about 40 years, and tonight, Starlight is partnering with us for a night of profits and giving back to our community. That is so great. Now, Christina, how long have you been involved with this uh, organization for? Three and a half years. Three and a half years. Now, what, what uh, drew you to it? No, go ahead. Tell me. This is my passion. My passion really is human trafficking. Okay. And when I had found that there was actually a position for me available as a street outreach worker, already on the street, working alongside of those at risk, most vulnerable to human traffickers, yeah. most vulnerable to those at risk behaviors and vulnerabilities, it's the family dynamics, right? We have kids that are running away, kids aging out of foster care, yep. kids who don't have a safe place to sleep, and in doing so, they'll sleep anywhere. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So it's great that you were able to turn your passion into uh, yeah. your work. And I always say that about folks who work in like nonprofit and like just you know cute. you have to have a passion yeah. for it because it's such a hard job <laughs> that is not a not a nine to five right no. <laughs> um, now let's go ahead and find out what we're doing today at starlight uh so uh gil uh hi hi gil hi hi i'm here you guys all right uh <laughs> now now hold on what time is everything starting at a starlight today we'll be okay doing it, uh we'll start at four o'clock and right. we'll end this uh baby at eight o'clock eight o'clock all right four to eight o'clock you want people to do what come to starlight and like come do to starlight it. and uh eat you know all the uh a, per a percentage of the profits will go to towards uh, Reach and Chavers Place today. Okay, all Now, right. do you have to say, like, when you eat there, do you have to say something about the percentage of the profits, or do you just... Yeah, what's, what's the deal with that? It? It's actually a profitable night. They've already settled on the number that they're going to write for the Sweet. check. Sweet. So, um, we just want people to come and support, first of all, Starlight, because they're amazing yeah, people. Yeah, they are. Right. It's been around for ages, I believe since 1960. I say right six, here yeah. in our community. Again, we have the Reach and Chavers Place program, which has been around again for, another, for 40 years. So, yeah. these are a great partnership great strongholds in our own community that are doing great things well. And, I mean, you know, you're working with a lot of the youth here, uh, Gil. This is, I mean, let's, uh, what are some of the, I mean, how can people help? I feel like people want to help out and, 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 and yeah, they want to... Yeah, if they can't make it to Starlight tonight, what, what else well, can remember, what Remembering do? that we're around is like the, the biggest thing that you can do. I mean, it's really the kids who keep the word alive yeah. about reaching Chevers place you know because we get so wrapped up in our adult issues and problems we're not yeah we're, we're forgetting to think oh well who is that kid staying on my couch like for a week or two <laughs> yeah, because yes. homelessness looks way different uh than the stereotypical on the street absolutely you know whatever we have so many couch surfing kids um, and and like days. this is gonna sound terrible and i'm not trying to i'm just trying to relate to what myself and aj we've been binging law and order svu um, oh. but remember that is something yeah. We talk about when they say it doesn't look like a street kid. And and me and you started talking about like homelessness and how the face of it, you can't, I mean, there's this stereotypical side of the road. I got a little sign, maybe a little sack. That's not always what it looks That's like. A lot yeah. of us have smartphones and like yeah. have like awesome because we're just, you know, in survival mode trying to fit in, yeah. trying to look normal. Yeah. yeah. So okay. we ran across a young man and he was homeless, but he had a Planet Fitness membership. He slept in his car. Yeah. He worked out, you know, six hours a day and slept in his car and showered at the gym and that is homelessness. Yeah. So for $10 a month, he had a shower, he had a place to be, a place to hang out. Yeah. And you would think this kid is not homeless, right? He's physically fit, he's showered, he's clean, and yet he's living out of his car. Yeah. Well, you can go ahead and help out uh, tonight. Now, once again, tell everyone exactly uh, the name of your organization, what's going to go benefit, all, all that fun stuff. 
Our agency is REACH and Traverse Place. So REACH is the component for minors. And then Traverse Place is a transitional living um, house for young adults. Okay. Um, that's what we're doing. And so come out, come eat. So if you have somebody that you think could be an at-risk, maybe your family dynamic, you're not getting along with your child, you see conflict, you see a child who's maybe um, running away from home or sneaking out of the house yeah. or has friends that you don't know, call the REACH program, 1-800... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. 810-233-8700. Make an appointment. Check us out. See what we have to offer. Check us out online at reach-traverseplace.org. Check us out online and see um, maybe if you can identify some of those at-risk behaviors, counseling options, housing services, and those kind of things that could benefit. Well, I'll tell you, there's always so many people doing uh, so much good. You never yes. hear about that. Remember, there's so much more good in the world than bad. There so. is. So make sure you stop out at Starlight tonight from 4 to 8 p.m. <laughs> M, you eat and help a great cause. Say, you don't got to twist mine. Nope. <laughs> go out there. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thanks Christina. Thanks for coming in, you guys. Thank you to Gil for coming in this morning. And, uh, and hey, everyone, get more info online, wcrz.com. We'll see everyone out at Starlight.